just arrived at the old Columbus Inn. Um, I got here a little early. I want to walk around the property and uh, just see what I initially start picking up. Um, the crew is going to be arriving about 40 minutes from now. And uh, then we'll be able to go inside and conduct an investigation. And Ron Yacovetti, Lourdes Gonzalez from Gagnac Paranormal are coming. And we're going to have a digital seance inside. So not only is this an investigation, it, we're, we're, we're bringing a digital seance into this. So I'm very interested to see who steps forward. And uh, let's see. Initially on getting here, I did some spirit art. Um, I'm picking up a man. Um, this man is an older man. I drew him with a little bit of a derby on top of his head. I feel that he would have been well known here if we brought him up. He had a chair here. I see that he had a spot, you know, it, it was his area. Um, like I said, he's an older man, wrinkled. Um, I came up with the year uh, or age 1960 or 60, um, but definitely a presence here probably in the 1960s. I'm gonna take out the art and I will show you. But this man, I feel is very observant of the place. Um, I feel he watches a lot of what happens here. He feels obligated, like this is his place. Um, I also picked up a name that was coming through, whether it's referenced by him or it's his name. I'm thinking it's more of something he's referencing. If there is a George in the history books that's attached to this place. Um, another thing that I'm also picking up just walking outside the property is there's a woman-daughter kind of thing going on here. I see the woman, her hair is up, she has like a brooch, and um, her hair's up, she has the brooch, and there's a young girl. And this young girl has these white little shoes on, and she's just walking around watching, I guess, as people eat. Um, but kind of just roaming around the place. So this woman-daughter connection and this man who I feel is not associated with them, he's later on, but the woman and daughter, I feel go back to this location to its beginnings. Um, also weird in this area, American Revolution. I'm not sure if soldiers were um, in, in the area camped. But I, I also pick up on the American Revolution happening within this area. So I'm curious to see when April gets in what she picks up on because already this place seems to be on fire and I'm only outside. So I can't wait to go in and see with what I'm picking up on if even inside it gets louder. So, so this is a sketch of the man I feel that is attached to the location. Um, he has a connection to a female here. Um, I see him at the bar. Um, and I feel if we were to mention this, this man that people would know him or know of him. Um, liquor bottles. He was a staple at the location. So like I said, people would know him here. Watching. Feels like he owns the place. He has that like obligation to the place. He feels like he owns it. Um, possessive of place. Um, he has a possessive feeling of this place. I guess he was here so much. It's like his, um, drinking. Again, the drinking is very heavy with this man. Um, sixties and the date 1961, 1976. I'm not sure what, what that pertains to. It could be the year that he passed. There's a G name that's attached that he's bringing through. Um, this is in reference, I'm thinking possibly a George. And I also did uh, a little doodle of a chair. I feel that there's, there, there was a seat that was known to be his. It was his seat, but this is him. And like I said, I see him with a derby on, on his head. So I'm interested to see if he steps forward tonight and if any of this makes sense. Okay, I was driving, left the inn, we're meeting up at a diner and I see a historical marker. I just wanna see if this makes any sense to what's going on. 
Once a tree stood on In the spot. Mile, turn British right Corporal John Avenue. Fisher, the 28th Regiment who had deserted to the British to join the rebels, was caught, tried, and convicted. He was hung at 10 a.m. on June 22nd, 1778. When there's a lot of spirits, you can't breathe mm -hmm. because the energy is so heavy. So there's so many of them. There's hundreds of them. And they're putting their hands up to me. They have their, their, to save them from the bad lady. And I keep feeling a box or a cage coming down on me because I'm bad. So, but she's a sexual predator. Was that ever verified? Most likely that took place in the attic here okay. because there's actually a buckle to the floor where they said like anyone that had like learning disabilities yeah, yeah, or yeah. bad kids. Well, you know, it would... doesn't matter like where I am. As long as I'm in the building, I'm going to pick up what's going on anywhere. But um, was there evidence of sexual? I don't know of anything like that. All right, because <clears throat> that's what I see and it's... I can tell you though that in, the, in that realm of um, sexual deviancy, yeah. part of this building was a brothel. Yeah, yeah, I remember you right. telling me that, but it's not that. Okay. It it's... is with the children. Okay. Yeah, so, so that I don't know. In that far room here, yeah. that's where I originally had like that overwhelming feeling of a child under very crummy circumstances. Yeah. In here. Being in the basement here, I feel that there was something under the ground, body, human remains. I mentioned that to them and they are finding bones. And there's even a questionable area about the basement where there could be something buried, but I definitely feel. The word secrets, <laughs> I'm gonna highlight. Um, there, it, there are secrets down here and some of the spirits here wanna keep it that way. Um, there are secrets down here, and if you dig, you will find. Yeah. I might mute this, and then because it would this this will contaminate the whole location until we're ready to do it. It just went flat. Uh, I didn't touch anything. No, it didn't. Look. Look where the levels are. I didn't touch anything. Wow. That's really weird. And that's not what. Can you come back and talk to us? Somebody step up and speak, please, because I didn't touch anything. It seems like it's If you can hear me say hello, Richard. What? Did you hear that? It said hello, Richard. Yes, sure did. Hello, Richard. Sure did. Hello. Thank you. Did you find Holland? We're standing here doing a okay. a uh, EDP session. And I said, who's down here? It says under you. Where? Six feet. All right. Wow. Because that's one thing I picked up the bodies down, or bodies here. So they won't let you then right do there. So our metal detector? We're lighting up out here. What? We got the REM pod going off. Okay, you just stepped up on the right side. Something moved on the left side. Picking up movement on the left side. Are you ready to communicate with us? No. You hear it now. It's just white noise. So when you hear talking, even if you don't know what it's saying 100% or any of the time, just know that it shouldn't be there. And if it gets a little noisy or something that sometimes it may have interference bursts, I will tune it. But it sounded pretty good now. So all right, any of the spirits that are here, you may recognize some of the people. Some of us are new to you. We would appreciate it if you could talk to us, give us some answers. Some people who are more familiar with this place may have answers they want to know about what happened here in the past. So please talk to us. We will be respectful, we hope, and, and, and expect the same of you. No problem.
So I'm going to open this up. <laughs> Who's with us? <laughs> if you can hear us, can you say Richard? How many of us do you see here tonight? Motion. Something's walking through the doorway. Come on, you can come in and join us. It's like a shush, like shush. Like we got downstairs. Yeah. Oh, I got this great EVP video. Like yeah. yeah. It was an absolute pleasure to have the opportunity to work with all these amazing investigators. This location, hands down, was one of the most active places I have ever investigated. I even had a stone thrown at me while talking to members of the Dirty Jersey team. Experience it for yourself and support this fantastic location and its history. Go to Dirty Jersey Ghost Hunting, ghosttoursofcolumbus.com, and find them on Facebook. was a night of collaboration among peers in the field. It could have not have happened without April, who set everything up and put together a very well-rounded team. And also, Mike and his team from Dirty Jersey Ghost Hunting, we thank you all and we look forward to working with you again in the future. The Old Columbus Inn has many spirits that are interested in communicating with the living. Also, some that are trying to keep its secrets buried beneath its dirt floor. Intelligent and residual coexisting together and reaching out from beyond the veil. <laughs>